Sussex hoisted by their own petard on making Queen furious with Lilibet decision as drop the crown. The Queen will be disappointed if she is not able to attend the christening of her great-grandchild, a royal expert has said, following reports Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are planning a ceremony in the US. The Queen, 95, is yet to meet Lilibet Diana Mountbatten Windsor in person despite her being born more than four months ago. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are currently living in Los Angeles with their two children, Lilibet and Archie. Palace sources say the couple will shun royal tradition and have no plans to baptize Lilibet at Windsor Castle like they did with their son. One insider told The Telegraph, there will not be a christening in the UK. It is not happening. The prospect of the Queen missing out on the special occasion will be a blow to the monarch, according to former royal butler Grant Harold. Mr. Harold speculated the royal family could still take part in the ceremony as and when it takes place. He suggested this could be done online, which has been a feature of the royal roster during the pandemic. Mr. Harold told Express.co.uk, I am sure if this does not take place in the UK, the Queen will be disappointed to not attend the christening of her great-granddaughter. However, as with many families who have family overseas, sometimes it is not possible. Maybe their christening will be recorded so the family in the UK can watch as well? Family is very important to the Queen and I am sure before too long she will meet her great-granddaughter. It has been suggested Lilibet could be christened into the Episcopal Church of the US, which is a member church of the worldwide Anglican Communion. Bishop Michael Curry, who delivered the sermon at the couple's wedding at St. George's Chapel, Windsor Castle in May 2018, is the head of the Episcopal Church. Lilibet is currently eighth in line to the throne and would remain in the succession as it is not considered an incompatible religion with the Church of England. However, if the little tot was to be baptized as a Catholic she would lose her place in the succession, like a number of the Duke of Kent's children and grandchildren. Meghan was raised as a Christian in the US and underwent a private baptism officiated by the Archbishop of Canterbury to become a member of the Church of England before she married Prince Harry. A spokeswoman for the Sussexes said the plans for the christening were still being finalized and described reports to the contrary as mere speculation. Prince Harry allegedly panicked when the Queen was taken into hospital, as sources claim he will bring Lilibet to the UK to meet Her Majesty at Christmas. The Duke of Sussex reportedly felt helpless after learning the news in his LA home thousands of miles away, and he's been checking in non-stop to ensure his grandmother is feeling better, an unsubstantiated source told US Weekly. He felt helpless being 5,000 miles away in Montecito and has been checking in non-stop with her, the source said. They source alleges Harry feels guilty about not saying goodbye in person to Prince Philip, who died in April, and said he would never forgive himself if the same thing happened with his beloved grandmother. The Duke is even planning a return to the UK this year to see his family for Christmas. It's claimed he is hoping to go back home for Christmas with Meghan, if not before, so that, the Queen, can finally get to meet Lilibet and see Archie again. Meghan and Harry previously did not follow royal tradition for the christening of Archie in July 2019. The Duke and Duchess did not allow photographers inside the ceremony which was held at a private chapel in Windsor Castle. Instead, they released two official photographs taken by their friend Chris Ellerton. The couple also did not disclose the identities of Archie's godparents. The Queen did not make an appearance at the ceremony due to prior commitments, but it was attended by Prince Charles, Camilla, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge as well as Meghan's mother Doria Ragland.